हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रेय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंदा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन कंट्रोल पैनल एंड कंट्रोल रूम इंजीनियरिंग पार्ट फोर्टीन वी विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग दिस सीरीज इन पार्ट सो एज टू कवर एंटायर सीरीज और टॉपिक फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू एंड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा and watch all the videos created related to the topic of engineering and project and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest upload of our new video on our channel e funda so let's begin with our today's topic that is the instrumentation control panels and control room engineering part 14 instrumentation control panels and control room engineering this will be presenting in parts in this video we are covering instrumentation and control basic part 14 instrumentation control panels part 14a that will be subsequent part control room engineering part 14 that will be the last part where we will covering the control room related details starting with classification of instrumentation and control loop open loop measurement and indication one can see the open loop system in a block diagram form where input will be given to the controller and further the output of the controller will be given to the control process and finally we will get as the final output that one can see in a system block diagram similarly one can see in the table below where we have indicated the open loop pressure transmitter where the pressure transmitter is installed in the field and that will give you the analog input to the system and system will give the pressure indication that is a pressure indicator in the control room similarly to correlate this one can see the figure where we have provided the pnid representation and one can see how the signal is passing from field to the control room where the pressure transmitter is installed that is called as a field mounted local and where the indication is shown that is a control room mounted that is a remote mounted this basic one should clearly understand and that will be useful for future where we will be covering the another topic close loop that is a measurement indication and control one can see the close loop control system where input signal is connected to the amplifier amplifier to the controller controller to the process and feedback is taken that is connected again with the input so as to compare the feedback and the input this is how the closed loop system is connected one can see below table where we have seen the flow loop where the instruments are shown in a tabular format that is fe flow element orifice plate ft dp flow transmitter analog input to the control room fic flow indicating controller fv that is control valve with i2p converter having analog output as a input signal from the control room so as to correlate these two one can see the figure and on right hand side where typical flow closed loop is shown where field instrument that is fe ft is connected that is a field mounted that is a local and the signal from ft is given to the fic controller compare with the set point which is installed in the control room mounted that is a remote and further fic is given signal to the control wall as analog output so as to have the regulated control wall output this is how the typically closed loop work where we can perform a measurement and get the indication and always provide feedback to control the output industry overview and application of instrumentation on this related topic we have created two separate video that is oil and gas engineering part 1 oil and gas engineering part 2 wellhead and wellhead control panel whcp you can visit to our channel and watch these two video and these are the very critical videos we have where we have covered offshore and onshore gas processing pipeline transportation refining and petrochemical and lng in 
part 1 series in another part we have covered how the wellhead and wellhead control panel is working this we have covered in detail that will help you to understand overview of industry and applicable instrumentation so as to understand our today's topic that is instrumentation control panel and control room engineering instrumentation control system interface for this part we have taken a figure from instrumentationtools.com and one can see in a figure where various field instruments are connected to the junction box and further the signal is connected to the control room from field one can see field instrument 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 are instruments connected for each instrument field single pair cable is connected and similarly one can see in the junction boxes all the cables are connected and further on the junction boxes six pair only one cable inside pairs are contained is connected to the control room so as to carry the signal of each six field instrument to the control room so as to have the further control room engineering and we will further see in a coming slide how the interface is from field to the control room instrumentation control system interface where we will see from field to the control room. For this, we have used the sketch from instrumentationtools.com and thank you instrumentationtools.com for providing such a wonderful interface from field to the control room. One can see the field devices is connected to the field junction boxes and from field junction boxes, further that signal is getting connected to the marshalling cabinet that is in the control room one can see how the signals in transferred that is to the junction box to the marshalling cabinet and from marshalling cabinet IO extension cable is connected to the IO card inside the control room and further it will be connected to the IO card to CPU and then to the workstation. One can see the cable between DCS or the PLC system cabinet is connected to the operator room where the data communication cables are being used to transfer the data from the system cabinet to the workstation. This is how the signal flow is conducted from field to the marshalling boxes that is inside the control room and from control room that will go to the system cabinets where the DCS or the PLC systems are installed and further it will reach the information to the operator room where workstation on where the operator is handling the controlling and monitoring actions for the required process operation. With this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows. If you are new to our channel that is our YouTube channel eFunda then subscribe to our channel eFunda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Similarly, you can follow us on Instagram page. Similarly, you can follow us on our Facebook page as well. And keep watching our channel eFunda for various topics related to engineering and a project. With this, we can assure you. This will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic. Keep watching our channel eFunda. Thanks. Watch our channel for new day, new topic.